Well, we've been using beet juice for several years now. Many highway departments have started to switch over to either full beet juice or, or to a mixture of beet juice and salt brine. Beet juice was found kind of like a happy accident. It's a, kind of a miraculous little natural uh, material that we can use to pre-treat roadways and prevent the bonding of the snow when it first starts falling into a layer of ice on the roadway. Uh, it just works very well. It has a sticky nature to it, as you can imagine, from the, the natural resources, that beet juice. Uh, so it sticks to the roadway nicely. We don't have to worry about it washing off as easily as salt brine does. Many people don't realize that pre-treating roads has really kind of got a science behind it. It's not just something that you say, well, it's getting ready to snow. Go out and put some stuff on the roads and we'll, we'll help them not get as slick as quick. We look at a lot of things in the forecast. Is, it, is the precipitation going to start as rain? If it's going to start as rain, we won't pre-treat because it'll simply wash either the beet juice or the salt brine off the roadway. If it's going to start as snow, then we're generally going to pre-treat. We're going to pre-treat the priority roads, the first and second priority roads. First and second priority routes are what people consider main roads, such as Vandiver Drive, Derby Ridge, Blue Ridge, Green Meadows Road, Nifong Boulevard. We're going to pre-treat bridge decks, hills, curves, areas like that. Not all 550 miles of Columbia roadways will be treated, but we're going to treat a good majority of them. Once we get done with priority routes, if we have four inches or more snow, then we're going to move into the residential areas, but not until those priority routes are, are, are passable and have been inspected. We're here at 1101 Big Bear Boulevard. It's our salt facility for the city of Columbia. It's no operation. We're at a dome where we hold 5,000 ton of salt. It's also our brine facility where we make salt brine. This is our brine maker. We make our salt brine with this. We can make about 2,200 gallon of salt brine beet juice mixture at a time. We put our salt in here and you add water to the salt and the salt it makes the, the salt water is what your, the product is called brine whenever you're done with it. So once you dump the salt in, we dump it in here, mix it in with the water, we put the finished product in this tank, and then we have mixed the beet juice in the other tank, and that's our final product. One of the critical things about being ready for winter weather is having our fleet in good shape. Our fleet maintenance division worked hard early this fall to make sure that all the trucks that we use with plows and spreaders are up and operational and ready to go. Made sure they had plenty of spare parts on hand so that as we use these trucks and they do take a beating when we're out plowing and, and treating, uh, that we had those parts ready to go to make sure that they could be kept in good repair. We've got the plows, we've got the spreaders mounted to the trucks, they're ready to go. So we think we're really prepared for uh, this, whatever winter brings us this year. Well, anytime we have snow forecasts, we do ask for help from you, our partner. We want you to move your cars off the streets if at all possible. Move them into driveways, garages. The more the vehicles are moved, the easier it is for our, our trucks to get through to plow and treat, the quicker we can make those roads passable. And we found that through a pilot project that we did last year with first and second priority routes where we prohibit parking if we have two or more inches of snow. We found that once we prohibited that parking, we were able to get through those priority routes in five to seven hours, a dramatic decrease in the time that we were finding that it was taking us before we prohibited parking. All the priority snow routes are marked with no parking signs. We do ask that you move those vehicles if it's forecast to snow two inches or more. We will put out alerts via our website and social media that we have reached that two inch mark and those vehicles need to be moved. We do tow vehicles off of those priority routes. It's not something that we like to do, but it is a necessity. The fine for that has been increased from $15 over last year to $100 this year. So it is quite a substantial uh, penalty if you don't move your vehicles off of those priority snow routes when we get two inches or more of snow. If we've had four inches or more of snow, we can get into those residential routes faster too. And that's really where people like to see us working. We use a lot of communications means now to let our, our customers know what we're out and doing so they can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. They can also check on the status of things at our website, comosnow.com. We try to keep that updated every three to four hours so that people know what we're doing. We have progress maps that will be posted to that website after inspectors have done their job, so it's a good way to see where we've been and what we've been doing. So we really encourage our customers to stay abreast of what we're doing through social media and through our website. 